Hello everyone, I am Cool Guy, and today we're going to be talking about tilt and how to keep your cool. So starting off, what is tilt? It's a term used in gaming and poker and various other games. It originated by tilting a pinball machine. It's the state of emotional frustration. So in games, if you're losing, you become so frustrated that you start playing worse uh, and you can't focus. You get angry. Maybe it's a certain gun or tactic that keeps coming up over and over and that frustrates you and you can't see past it and your gameplay suffers. It could even be your own personal play. You might be playing bad. That upsets you. You're you're in a slump. It's a downward spiral effect. And sometimes you start playing aggressively, maybe sometimes too aggressive, and that leads to more deaths, more frustration, fueling that fire, more time living in that tilted mindset. And for some players, it leads to a thrown controller up against the wall or just simply rage quitting. So at any point while I was talking, did any of that sound like you? Maybe just a little, a lot, let's fix that. And what I want to do in this video is talk about your mental game. Let's look at the game from the outside looking in and then the inside looking out from multiple viewpoints. There are different ways we approach the game as players. We have a mindset that is predetermined before we even play. Some players play six to 10 hours a day while other players play six or 10 hours a week. So we're all different. We have different play styles of games, different tolerances of anger for that matter. And some of us are competitive. Some players are just naturally gifted at games. It comes easy to them, but most of us work at it and work hard at it. Most of, us, most of the time we just see someone in our sights and we know exactly what to do, but the muscle memory just isn't there to get the end result that we wanted. Some of us play as a release from day-to-day -day activities because life is tough sometimes, man. And uh, some players just, want that feeling to be a part of something like a clan to play with friends and sometimes we just play for a reward even if we don't really like the game mode that we're playing sometimes it's just to talk to someone after a long day it's on a person-to-person -person basis and we all have a direction or approach that we have towards the game before we even play it some of us care enough to dive deep into stats and weapons and archetypes and class builds while others they just want to play so just shoot some stuff so in the opening of the video I said let's talk about tilt and how to keep your cool both of those are a state of mind, and with those two specifically, you need to understand what you're trying to get out of the game, whether it's being competitive or a weekend warrior or something like that. That's going to help with tilt, because tilt is different for everyone. Tilt means different things. What we have here is different people playing the same game with different goals. And while I'm a Destiny focused channel, all this applies to first person shooters, but my examples are going to be Destiny specific. Tilt comes from all directions. It first starts with how the Crucible is set up and how these types of game modes are competitive in nature, just in general, with them being there. Six versus six, three v three, elimination. We are put against each other. My team versus your team, you versus me. And even if we're playing to have fun, losing is almost never fun, right? Especially if you're someone else's punching bag. It's a bad feeling that you get. And for all you good or decent players out there, imagine going into a game without the knowledge that you have, repeatedly losing your gunfights, not really having the skills to compete. How would that feel? It's upsetting. That feeling can lead to anger, uh, enough to even stop playing the game. And then some people would counter argue that with the get good argument. And again, some people just can't play that much. They're trying to get good, I promise. We have different skill sets, but moving on. Once you are tilted, every emotion that you have is now juiced. It is 100%. It is extreme. And on one hand, say that you're a really good player. Good gun skill, good decision making. You get sniped by a team standing in the back of the map. Then again, and again, you say out loud, quit camping with your icebreaker. Stop it. Or you're in a 1v1 and you have your opponent dead to rights with a sliver of health, only for him to throw a grenade, a sticky grenade, mind you, drop into cover. He kills you and his health regeneration starts immediately. You just lost that gunfight, even though you did everything right and that gunfight was taken away from you. Then it happens again and again and again. That can be infuriating. There are things that are considered cheap in games and most of these quote cheap things are used to get some sort of advantage, an edge. And in Destiny, those things can be supers, grenades, movements, guns, even certain spawns on maps. All of it, any of it can be considered cheap to someone at some point. Destiny doesn't play like other first person shooters and you need to realize that. That is one thing that you need to absorb. It doesn't have quick kill times like a Twitch shooter Call of Duty. It doesn't have those slow methodical BR battles like in Halo 3 and Halo 2. It's a fast paced, up in your face, there's hundreds of guns, 9 subclasses, grenades everywhere, shoot them up, game type, and it's just a different beast. So how do you keep your cool with all that going on? You need to get to the point to where you notice tilt immediately. And it all starts with your mindset, your mental approach to the game. It's now the process of noticing those triggers and to look at them in a brand new light 
in redirecting that anger and frustration. Your results speak for themselves. I can tell you confidently that I don't get tilted. That's just the way that I am. You guys have seen my live gameplays, and a lot of people ask, how are you so calm? How does that not make you mad? I can tell you this, gaming is supposed to be fun. Remember that. Life is too hard sometimes not to enjoy your hobbies, and I play Destiny because I enjoy it. Has it ever not been fun for me? Yeah, I took six months off Destiny. It hurt my YouTube channel, but for me, it was what needed to happen. It's the best thing that could have happened. I came back with clear eyes, a new passion for the game, and sometimes that is needed. Well, maybe not six months, maybe a day or two or a week, but the goal is just to get your head clear. So have you ever heard the term that something is 90% mental and 10% physical? I've heard it in professional sports and I, I'm a believer in this because the old saying of 90% mental and 10% physical, it gets lost in translation. We aren't talking about intellect or intelligence when we say mental or book smarts. I, I don't expect you to be the valedictorian of the crucible. We're talking about mental perseverance, mentally strong, uh, critical thinking, planning, preparation, game plan, setting yourself up for success, keeping that clear head, keeping that mental toughness and focus, and believe it or not, trying to have fun with it and being positive about it helps out a lot. And that sounds crazy, right? But it all starts with you. This is some of the best advice that I can give you. It's something that's gonna take your game to the next level. It's gonna lock your true potential because we went over these different mindsets of what players want out of the game. This is the part where we start looking at the game from the inside out, because from the inside, we know what some of the more annoying things are in Destiny. Those stickies, the icebreakers, sidearms, supers, god, there's so many. But these are in the game. They're here to stay. This is the game that we're playing. It doesn't matter if it should be changed or not, because we can give our feedback all that we want, and if it doesn't get changed, it doesn't, but that doesn't mean that they won't be used against you. There are things that you don't agree with, yeah. Is this game 100% balanced? No, but that's okay. The same things that people complain about are the same things that they could use as well. So with what I'm about to say, take what you want from it and leave what you want from it. What might work for one person might not work for another. We're all different, I know that. This is what I do and I, what I want to show you. This can elevate your game and I'm really confident in that. You need to make everything 100% about you. No outside source matters. It doesn't matter your skill level. And as a player, you're gonna be learning real time on the job. Be a constant student of the game and translate that to overall growth. It, it doesn't matter what they did. It doesn't matter what gun they used or ability. It doesn't matter what grenade. It does not matter. What matters is what you do. And sometimes people make a good play on you. That's okay. They had a good play. There's nothing you could really do about it. It happens. It's a part of the game. But let me tell you another thing that doesn't matter. People talk about skill, ELO, KD completions. Uh, or KD or completions, none of that matters to you, especially when Destiny 2 comes out. No one cares. Six months from now, no one cares. Keep farming that ELL, dude. See you in September. But as a whole, I want you to remember this. No matter how bad you think that you are, there is somebody worse, and no matter how good you are, there is somebody better. And when there's the best, someone will come along and be better than them, and so on. So I want you to be confident. Just know that. Confidence plays into all this and don't things like don't let things like stats or ELO get to you get in the way of that When I take a death in destiny, it is 100% on me when I die I immediately think how and why that happened say I just got sniped by an icebreaker in the back of the map He snipes me my first initial reaction is, is it jeez dude sniped me in the back and with the icebreaker Of course he did you know get off your camp for me. It's more of a he snipes me I look and say huh I was out there in the middle of the open like an idiot aiming down sights into top mid Maybe next time I should be next to that big rock when I'm doing that. That way it won't happen again. It has nothing to do with the enemy's way of killing me. And again, there are times when I just say, wow, I can't believe he hit that shot on me. I was doing exactly what I needed to do, but he made a good play, it happens. But every time I ask myself, what went wrong? Was it my positioning, my aim? Was I in an open area and I got picked off? Was I not next to cover? Did I have it on a primary weapon in a close quarters engagement? Well, that dude had his sidearm out. That is the mentality that you have to have. It makes you a better player. Have an answer for every death. You're gonna notice that where those deaths are coming from, what is in your hands and what's not in your hands. You're gonna notice tilt immediately and that would be frustration that you have is then redirected towards a goal and that goal is to learn from your mistakes. Take my icebreaker example where I was just chilling in the open field and I got taken out, right? One player would say again, oh, he's camping with the icebreaker again. Oh man, I hate this game sometimes. But then there's me. There's no room for tilt in my head. My, my immediate reaction is, I kind of deserve that, and that won't happen again. Good on you. If you work through it like that, those things stick with you. You're gonna find that there isn't any room for tilt in your head, keeping it all about you. What you can do about it, so the next time you have a better shot at coming out on top in that gunfight, 
The only thing that I think in my head when some of these quote cheap things happen in Destiny is that they're annoying, which they are. Take this scenario from earlier, it's a 1v1, I have my opponent dead to right, sliver of health, only for him to throw a grenade, drop into cover, he kills me, my, his health regeneration starts, and I lost that gunfight. I came up short, but in my mind, yeah, that's annoying, or classy, as I sometimes say. But I now know that the Yellow Warlock has sticky grenades, and every single time I see him, he's going to throw a grenade at me, every single time. So I play to that, and make sure that I make it difficult for him to do that to me. And are the stickies sometimes a little too sticky? Yeah, yeah they are. And a lot of people use them, so there's no point to dwell on it. It's in the game. I got stuck this game, I'm probably gonna get stuck a couple times this game, and guess what? The brand new lobby next game, I'm gonna get stuck in that one. Probably after you watch this video, the next game that you play, you're gonna get stuck by somebody. It's in the game. Same goes for Icebreaker. That guy way in the back, quote, camping, kills you. Guess what? Next game you play right after you watch this video, there's gonna be that guy hard scoped in the back of the Icebreaker. Someone's gonna stick you. Someone's gonna main their sidearm. The goal now is to accept that and then adapt to it. For the Icebreaker guy that just killed me, I know where he is now, and I won't let him do that to me again. I will use my movement, my cover, my grenades, get close to him and take him out. And that's easier said than done, yeah, but the more you play, the easier that becomes. Same goes for sidearms. Grab yours. You know, when you're in these close quarters engagements and, and hallways, have that sidearm out and expect a sidearm duel. And for me, if worse comes to worse, if I'm really annoyed, I will go Sunsinger with Void Fangs and Dual Stickies, or main a Sunbreaker with the Armentarium with Dual Stickies. That's a last case scenario for me. I will be the meta, okay? If that's what the world wants, I will be the hero that Gotham deserves. But when I say make it all about you, that doesn't mean be hard on yourself with your mistakes. It takes time working on your game, always being next to cover, your hand cannon shot, your shotgun play, your sniping. It all takes time. It doesn't happen overnight, and if you're a weakened warrior, you don't get that much time to play, realize your situation in the game. The things like sidearms, juggernaut titans, shotguns, stormcallers, sunbreakers, it's coming to a game near you and they're near next to impossible not to notice. The next step is to work with what you have and get better. Because a lot of players, especially some of the lower skill players, they worry about gun skill. The gun skill will come, I promise. It always comes. You just have to keep practicing. One of the last things I want to bring up is the mythical honor code that some players play by. And while I wish that there was such a thing, there isn't. People send me messages, I see messages, I look at forums. You only did good because of X gun. You have no skill because of this or that. People with no skill use this or that. And I would never use that. Listen, there are hundreds of thousands of players that play Destiny and it isn't feasible for you to think that other players are gonna abide by some sort of honor code that is catered to your liking. It just doesn't work. They're, these people aren't your buddies that you hang out with after work. They could be your friends. You could try to be friends with them. And you may think that stickies are no skill and players that use them are bad players, but guess what? That's not going to stop them. You can't be upset or hate them for using them. It is in the game. Agree with the mechanic of a sticky grenade or not. It is there. It just is. And myself, I use a lot of different weapons. I mean, with these weapons, they are outclassed. Like, I like my AR-41. But when push comes to shove, a good hand cannon user will dominate me every single time in effective range. But I know that. The challenge for me is to use a lesser gun and do decently with it. In the back of my mind knowing that when I come up short in a gunfight, I'm like, eh, you know, I probably would've killed him with a palindrome, no bigs. But that is the decision that I have with the AR-41. I know what comes with that. Just like when I use a subclass that doesn't have stickies, I know what comes with, it, with that. When I use a sniper rifle that is an icebreaker, I know what comes with that. You should too. So if you're playing and you get tilted, notice it and redirect that, that anger to making yourself a better player. Just refocus it with what you are doing. And if someone is in your party and they're tilted and they're all the time, just let them be or try to talk to them. They're some of the most difficult people to play with. Don't be that guy anymore if you are that guy. Not anymore. Because on this journey of becoming a better player, know that this should be fun and being positive about your engagements with analytics will help you out way more than you can imagine. And also, don't let other players bother you. This is about you. Do what makes you happy and don't worry about what other players think of you. I know I don't, and I never will. Getting angry and on tilt is worse for some players than others, but I really hope that something in this video helped some of you. Hopefully a sentence or a section clicked with you and it turned on a light bulb and it's going to help out your mental game. Thank you for watching, and until the next one, I am Cool Guy. You should get to the point where anyone else would quit, and you're not going to stop there! No! What are you waiting for? Do it! Just... Do it! Yes, you can!